can turn to Psalm 46. We're going to look at Psalm 46 also. And uh, so turn there and kind of get it lined up. And uh, we're going to make sure that we can follow along with the word of God. Amen? Amen. Praise God. Let's turn this mic off. It's on here. Okay. Praise God. Psalm of uh, Exodus 14, 13. We're going to look at that 13th verse there. 13 and 14. Praise God. Exodus 14, 13 and 14. And uh, we'll look at uh, Psalm 46 and 10. Write them both down. 46 and 10. 46 book, book of Psalms, 46 number and verse 10. But now we'll start off with Exodus 14, though. 14 and verse 13. And it reads, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. For said, 14 said, the Lord shall fight for you, and you shall hold your peace. Let's look at Psalm 46 and 10. We're going to add a little bit to it there. Psalm 46 and 10, where the Lord speaks through the psalmist and he says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathens. I will be exalted in the earth. Let's bow here for a word of prayer. Father, bless you. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for the word that was made flesh, that word that dwelt among us. So join here upon this earth, Lord, and came on a mission, completed his mission on that old rugged cross. Lord, we thank you, Father, that they buried him, but he rose again with all power in his hand. And Lord, we just come today, Lord, to lift up his holy name. But Lord, we first ask your forgiveness right now on this uh, communion Sunday where we come to remember the goodness of our God. Lord, we pray you forgive us for our sins and you wash and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Lord God, we pray your anointing might be upon the speaker, the hearers today. Lord, that yoke breaking anointing, that anointing that set the captives free, that anointment that brings enlightenment to our hearts and minds and soul. Lord, we pray that anointing might fall upon us today, Lord, as it has been already, Father. And Lord, we'll be mindful to give you all the praise. We'll give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen. We want to speak from these words this morning, uh, basically coming from the Exodus 14, uh, the Red Sea experience, the Red Sea experience. And praise God, like I say, this is Communion Sunday. We come to celebrate. We come to celebrate the victory. Praise God that our Lord has granted us through his death on the cross. Amen. But not only uh, do we come to remember, but it's examination time. All right. All right. Bible says, especially during this time, we ought to examine ourselves. Look at our relationship with the Lord. Look and see, are we coming closer to the Lord? Or are we going farther away from the Lord? Praise God. We celebrate, but we examine ourselves also because our relationship with the Lord is what is very, very important. Am I right about that? Praise God. Not just saying that I know the Lord, but we're talking about a daily, daily walk with the Lord. A relationship. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The Red Sea experience. And uh, I guess, you know, we all need to ask ourselves, have I had in a Red Sea experience? All right. All right. Have I personally? I read about it. I heard about it. But now, have you as a believer had a red sea experience? Amen. And I believe that not only is this the greatest miracle in the word of God, but it's the greatest miracle whereby the salvation of God's people is displayed like never before. Mm? I mean, this is a miracle of all miracles. Mm? A red sea experience. You, you. Every believer, every believer must have a Red Sea experience. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Hmm? See, God promised that he would uh, deliver his people. Hmm? 
And God is not a man that he should lie. Right. What God says, God will bring to pass. Hmm? Praise God. And we all, we all, before God delivers us, we all have been in bondage. Oh, y'all, y'all don't hear me. Hmm? But now, this Red Sea experience is, is a picture of our deliverance. Hmm? That's what I love about God's word. God take painstaking time to not only tell us, but to demonstrate. Huh? To show us. See, a lot of people can't uh, learn by, through words, but they learn well through pictures. <laughs> Am I right about that? As a matter of fact, when we started out in school, then we wrote, then we started with picture books. See Jane run. Uh, see Jane do this and Jane do that. Pictures to kind of reinforce. Well, God is the same. God teaches. Not only through word, but God teaches through pictures. And this Red Sea experience is one of the greatest pictures, the greatest miracle that God has ever given us. It shows us the deliverance. The deliverance that God has wrought us from sin and Satan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Let's look at some of these characters in, in this uh, uh, Red Sea experience. Just a little bit of the characters that's involved in this great miracle. See, can you see yourself? Now, we examine ourselves, right? Yeah. Is this, are, you gonna, are we going to look at the mirror of the word? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are in there somewhere. Oh, yes, yeah. there ain't no doubt about that. But now, first, God prophesied that his people would spend 400 years uh-huh. in Egypt yeah. okay. in bondage. Yeah. Now, when I first read that, I know that it was only a handful of them when this happened. But 400 years, that means that they were go- a lot of God's people going to be born in sin. Right. Anybody recognize that? Anybody recognize that? Huh? A lot of them, 400 years, that's a, lot, that's a lot of generations. That means some of them were born in sin. Like the Bible said, we're born in sin. And, and in sin did my mother what? Conceive me. Is that what the Bible says? So now, but now when, when, when God first mentioned to Abraham that these people were going to spend 400 years, I said, well, Lord, what they done? <laughs> it ain't but a handful of them. Why you, why you condemn these many generations? Oh, you don't, you don't appreciate your deliverance until you've been in bondage. Anybody go heaven with this? Huh? You, you can't appreciate, you can't appreciate what, what the Lord has done for us until you realize that you've been in bondage. Hmm? So what now, God let them taste. 400 years of bondage, first of all. Am I right about that? Now, Egypt is a picture of the world. Out of Egypt have I called my son. Y'all ever heard that? Huh? Egypt is a picture of the world. Egypt is a picture of sin. Egypt was sin city. God condemned his people. He took them into sin city so they can learn how to appreciate. Oh, y'all ain't gonna hear me today. Hmm? See, a lot of times we talk about salvation. A lot of you people look at you look at us like you know. Wonder what they talking about, huh? If you ain't realized you was in bondage, you ain't gonna appreciate. It. When God set you free, huh? For 400 years. Can y'all imagine that? Huh? Living, living and basically in bondage all that time. When Joseph was alive, they had a little freedom. But the Bible said that didn't last long. Huh? Joseph died out and the other Pharaoh didn't care nothing about that. What happened in the past? Pharaoh is a picture of the devil himself. Pharaoh is a picture of the devil himself. Huh? He runs Sin City. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. He runs Sin City. Amen? Amen. And all God's people are captive there in Sin City. Hmm? He's got an army. Pharaoh got an army. An army of demons. Mm-hmm. Our demons, our fallen angels, whatever you want to call them. Huh? But he had an army, and they kept God's people mm, in bondage. Oh, I love it. I love it that God took such pain to not only teach us, but to show us 
exactly what we have today. Amen. What God has done for us today. How many of y'all understand what I'm saying? So now Pharaoh uh, 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 finally decided that he was going to let God's people go. Am I right about that? Hmm? After God called Moses out of sin city, okay. did God call him out? Call him out. Hmm? He's the first one. Yeah. How many of you got to be called out? Yes. None of us leave sin voluntarily. Yes. Nobody stops sinning voluntarily. Yes. Yes. If you got to change your mind about how you yes. living, yes. how you talking, yes. what you doing, then God had to call you out of that. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Amen. God, God called Moses out of sin city. The Bible said he forsook the pleasures of sin for a season, didn't he? But he, God had to call him out. Mm? And then God had to educate him. Yes, sir. Took him to the backside of the mountain. Took him to school. Showed him his great power in a burning bush introduce himself and his power to Moses before he told him, go back there. All right. All right. Tell that devil. Thank you, Jesus. Let my people go. Right. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. How many, know, how, many, how many know that Moses is a picture of Christ? Yeah. Uh, the, the deliverer. Christ is the deliverer. Yeah. Moses at this time is standing in the place of Christ. God tell him, go tell him, let my people go. Yes. And of course, he said, no, yeah. not going to happen until God flexed his muscles. All right. All right. Huh? Until God showed him who's sovereign. Yes, sir. So God showed him that he had all power in heaven and earth in his hand. Yes. And when God flexed his muscles, yes, sir. All right. yes, sir. oh, y'all don't hear me today. Yes, sir. Hmm? Pharaoh finally let him go, didn't he? Yeah. Did he let him go? Yeah. A strange thing happened, though. The sheep then the goats came out. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. They may have all been Israelite, but they sure wasn't all God's folks. Right. Kind of remind me of church folks today. You can sit up in here if you want to. Yes. But just because you're in here, don't mean you God's people. Am I right about that? The Bible said the sheep and the goats came out. Is that right? Am I right? Good fish and bad fish came out of there. Wheat and the tares, all of them came out. They came out together. Hmm? Because actually they were Israelites. Except for maybe Moses' mother. Pharaoh's sister, the Bible, well, the, the movie says she came out with him and blah, blah, blah. But we know the Bible says a mixed multitude. Is that the Bible says? A mixed multitude. Everywhere God's people come together, you got believers, you got unbelievers. You got sheep, you got goats. Am I right about that? Good fish, bad fish. Hmm? Without a shadow of a doubt. But they all came out, though. Huh? They came out because God called them out. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Hmm? But now the Bible says here that God led them. Who led them? God. God led them? God led. The backside of the mountain up. God led them into a trap. Y'all right. right. gonna help me with this here? Yes, sir. Yes. Pharaoh pursued him, didn't he? Did he come at him? Have your sin ever tried to get you back? Have your sin ever chased you? Yes, sir. Huh? I'm talking about the things you used to do. Uh, has Pharaoh ever got on your tracks? Huh? And, and it wasn't for that wall of fire that God put up. Yes, sir. Oh, y'all gonna help me with this here? Huh? But, but, now, but, but remember now, God the one lied about that. Uh, mountains on this side, yeah. Red Sea on this side, the Egyptian, the devil, and sin chasing me on this side. God got a strange way of introducing himself, ain't he? Y'all help me with this here. Come on now, put yourself in that place. 
Huh? He has an army. He has an army and uh, uh, 600 chariots or so. Uh, and, and all these uh, soldiers coming and they had it toward you. Yes, and you're looking back here and here's a red sea back here. And you're looking over here, praise God, and, 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 and here's come the army. All right. Hmm. Yes, sir. See, our salvation experience began with God leading you to a place that resembles a hot place in a rock. Y'all ain't gonna stay with me, boy. Huh? God calls us out. Hmm? And then he puts us in a situation where he can reveal, he wants to reveal himself. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Look at, look at Exodus 14, 9. Come on, stay with me a minute. Y'all gonna stay with me here? Have you, had, have you had a Red Sea experience? Every one of God's children have one. Huh? And, 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 and if you don't have one, you ought to know what I'm talking about already. I shouldn't have to do a whole lot of elaborating here. Huh? But now, for you that are wondering, what is he talking about? Uh, you, you got to have a Red Sea experience. Look at Exodus uh, 14 and, and 9. 14 and 9. Praise God. And, and he says there, but the Egyptians pursued after them. All the horses and the chariots of Pharaoh, his horsemen, and his army, and overtook them in camping by the sea beside Pihara and, Z and Baal Zephon. Can y'all see that? Yes, sir. Huh? But now God told them to uh, uh, go into this place. Mm -hmm. And I want you to cease your activities. Stand still. I just want you to stand still. Huh? I want you to quit trying to save yourself. I want you to quit wondering how you're going to be delivered. I want you to quit worrying about how, how, how sin done dog you out and how you're going to get away from that habit that you got. I want you to quit. I want you to stand still. Yes. Cease all your activities. Hmm? Oh, I want you to see my power. That was God. I want you to see my power. You're backed up. You're backed up now. You're backed up to the Red Sea. And I know you're surrounded by the mountain. The enemy, the enemy is come pursuing you. But now, be cool. Uh, that's what they, if he's in the hood, that's what he'll say. Be cool, y'all. Don't let that worry you. Uh, I'm with you. If God be for you, if God be for you, then who can be against you? Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Amen. But now, God led them there because it's time. It's decision time. You got to make a decision. Have you ever, have you ever been under that conviction? Anybody know, what, anybody know anything about conviction? When you're terrorized, I don't want to sin no more. Oh, Lord, I don't want to do that no more. Lord, please. Oh, come on, Lord. Don't let me do it, Lord. Don't let me do it no more. Have you ever been there? Huh? Well, you're seeing now. now the, 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 forget Pharaoh now. We're talking about sin, y'all. Jesus came to save us from our sin. That's what the Lord came for. Your sin pursuing you. Dogging you out. Telling you I ain't going to let you go. I'll kill you before I let you go. Mm, oh, y'all don't hear me today. Look at go 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 back up to one Exodus fourteen and one. Now have you have you been there though, huh? When when you're seeing that fasting on you, oh I said Lord I ain't gonna drink no more of that stuff. I ain't gonna do it Lord. Lord I ain't gonna smoke no more of my name no name cigarettes Lord. I told him y'all I told him Lord did you tell him did y'all tell him? I'm not gonna do it no more Lord. And then they pursued him. Somebody knocked on the door. Look what I got bro. Huh? I have seen ever knocked on your door. Yes, sir. Uh, I tried to get you to come back to Egypt, back to where God done delivered you from. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Oh boy, it's, it's time. See, God, God put them there. Who put them there? God. Did God know they're gonna be boxing in there? Yes, Did God know the enemy was gonna pursue them? Yes. But God had them there for a reason. Yes, sir. It's time for you to choose. Yes, it's time for you to make a decision. Who you gonna serve right now? Oh, y'all help me with this. If God be God, we got to serve him. Oh, but you got to serve somebody. 
You got to serve somebody. Am I right about that? What well, Exodus 14, 1. Did I say that one? Go back up to one now. That, that's, see, the question we got to ask ourselves, praise God, is this question that answer we find right here. Yes. Look at 14, 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they turn and encamp before pi ha ha Y'all see it? Between Migdal and the sea over against Belzephon, before it shall you encamp by the sea. And Pharaoh, Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel, they are entangled. I got them now. I got them now. They are entangled in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. I got them now. I got them. They have no out. Huh? Oh, I hear them crying to the Lord, but they ain't got no out. Huh? See, how many know God don't never leave his people? If God bring me, if God call me out, God's going to deliver me. Oh, yes, sir. I, I know. I know from experience, y'all. I've been there. I've been there. Begging the Lord. That, Lord, take it from me, Lord. Huh? Get them hoochie mamas out of my life, Lord. Oh, y'all ain't going to, y'all, I'm just going to be true with y'all. Lord, I just done played out now, Lord. I done, I done played out. I'm just. <laughs> y'all, somebody say amen. But now, again, who put them there? All right, the Lord, he put them there. Huh? See, every place, hard place you come to, it don't mean that God didn't put you there. See, we, we, we get a devil too much credit sometimes. The devil made me do it. The devil, oh, no, no, sometimes God. God told Moses to camp there and, and God shut them in. That's what that verse three said. God shut them in, led them into the wilderness. And look here, they on foot. The devil got chariots. They ain't got no gun. Pharaoh people got all kind. The devil got all kind of weapons. Am I right about that? Maybe God didn't know they ain't had no weapons. Praise you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Praise you, Lord. Huh? Maybe God didn't want them to use any kind. Oh, y'all help me with this here. Huh? God, God won't. See, see, you got to get to the point where you're helpless and hopeless. Oh, y'all, somebody know what I'm talking about. You'd have tried everything, Rosie. I parked my car on the back. I parked my car in the bushes. So the homeboys wouldn't know I was at home. And they still knocked on my door. I know you're in there, bro. I know you're in there. Uh, you, go, you got to try some of this stuff. You don't know. Man, you don't want to. <laughs> look at verse 5, y'all. Come here. Look at, look at verse 5. Y'all yeah, go down to verse 5. How many of y'all with me here? And it was told the king of Egypt. Y'all with me? Yes, sir. That the people fled. And the heart of Pharaoh and his servants were turned against the people. And they said, why have we done this? That we have let Israel go from serving us. And he made ready his chariots, took his people with him. Six hundred chosen chariots. All the chariots of Egypt, the captains over every one of them, the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh. King of Egypt, he pursued after the children of Israel, and the children of Israel went out with a high hand. But the Egyptian pursued. Y'all see that? Pursued after them. All the horses and chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen, his army, overtook them and camped by the sea beside Pahahara and Baal Zephon. God shut them in, right? I want y'all to keep that in mind now because we do give the devil too much credit here. All right. mm -hmm. How many know that the devil can't do nothing until, unless God allow it? Yes. Yes. Nothing can happen in this world today uh, unless God allow it. And if God allow it, he'll allow it for real. He got a plan. Huh? And it is for my good. Y'all help me with this hell. When God got a plan, it's for the good of his children. It may not look like it right now. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. 
It may not look like it, but God did. Look on that verse 10 now. Come on, stay with me a minute. Y'all stay with me now? Look at verse 10 there. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them. And they were so afraid, the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord, and they said unto Moses, Because, is it because there were no graves in Egypt? That you're going to take us away to die in this wilderness. You better watch that mixed multitude. You better watch them. You better, you better watch the mixed multitude. Huh? Am I right about that? Hmm? Wherefore hast thou dealt thus with us and carry us forth out of Egypt? So now it's the blame game. Hmm? We start blaming people instead of taking responsibility. We need to take responsibility for the predicaments that a lot of us are in instead of trying to blame somebody else. Hello, hello. Are y'all with me here? Yeah. Huh? And Moses, didn't, they, didn't you have enough graves? I mean, why you brought us out here? Huh? They preferred sin, being in bondage to sin. Did they want to go back? Y'all yeah. know any believers want to go back? Yeah. You know any of them gone back? Huh? You know any of them came out, but they didn't come out? You can look like you're out and you didn't come out. You can look churchy, but you ain't got it in your heart. Oh, y'all ought to help me with this here. Yeah? Huh? They came out physically. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, what you here for this morning? Come on now. What you here for this morning? Are you here to critique us? Are you here to mumble? Are you here to complain? Are you here to praise the Lord? What are you here for today? Oh, y'all ought to help me. Somebody ought to help me with this here. Yeah? Mm, a mixed multitude. I wish I could say that I believe everybody in here is saved. All right. But I don't believe that. All right. I don't really believe that. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 12. Can we go on down a little further? Right. Come on now, stay with me a minute now. He says, is not this the word that we did tell you? That's what the people said now. Then we tell you these words in Egypt said, let us alone. We used to be in slavery. All right. Leave me alone. I don't want to be delivered. That's right. I like that Jim Bean. I like that Johnny Walker Red. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm, leave me alone. <laughs> Y'all go hit me with this. <laughs> then we said, let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians, for it had been better for us to serve the Egyptians than that we should die in this wilderness. Hmm? But God called them out. Then God called them out. Well, many are called. Many are called. But few. Very few are chosen. And that's the condition of our church today. Uh, and, and it's our job to call, Rosie. God called it. God told us to call them. Uh, he didn't tell me to stand at the turnstile and make sure they're all saved now. He just told me to call you. Time will tell whether you own the solid rock or not. Time, time will tell. Am I right about that? Praise God. Look at the, uh, look at the book of Acts here. Look at, look, look at the book of Acts. Can we go there? Many are called, but few are chosen. And, and Paul said all Israelites are Israelites. Did he say that? Just because they say they are Jews, that don't mean they're God's people. Just like just because people say they're Christians. Yeah. All right. and, and same difference, am I right about that? Right. See, they wanted, they wanted to go back to the hog pen, is that right? right. Look at Acts uh, 7, 7 chapter of the book of Acts there. They wanted to go back to the hog pen. Yeah. Hmm? God has delivered them and brought them thus far. Because right. now they, 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 they ain't seen the Red Sea thing yet, but now they, God's been good. He, a, a wall of fire, can you see a wall of fire? Man. Man. Between you and your enemies? He already showed you that they can't, they can't touch you. Huh? I, I got a wall of fire between you and them, and they, I wouldn't dare come through this Holy Ghost fire. Mm? I mean, no, can't no fire extinguisher put this fire out. It burned up the fire extinguisher. Am I right about that? Mm? Look at what I said, book of Acts. Look at Acts 7 and 37. 
He said, this is that Moses which said unto the children of the a prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you like your brothers, like to me, him shall you hear. This is he that was in the church, in the church, 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 where the church was? In the wilderness. With the angel which spake to him in Mount Sinai with our fathers who received the library articles to give unto them to whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust him from them and in their hearts, in their hearts, they wanted to go back, didn't they? They wanted to go back. How many people say they believers in they? They ain't just wanted to go back, they done gone back. Huh? You want to be Christian on Sunday, but you want to party on Saturday. Am I right about that? Huh? In other words, you, 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 your body is here on Sunday, but your heart. Is that what he said? In their heart, they turn back. They want to go back and sin some more. Praise God. Amen. Thank you, we don't know nobody like that. We don't know no believers want to go back and sin, do we? Hmm? But the first thing God does when he began the delivery process, uh -huh. he got to stop them. Yes, he got to make them stand yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. still yes, sir. and think about it. Yes. Think about this great God. Huh? That brought three million people out of Egypt. Think about this vast number of people here and we're up against the wall. Huh? And think about what God is going to do. Huh? But first of all, you got to be convicted. Can you be saved without being convicted? Anybody know about conviction? See, my sins ain't always bothered me. Huh? That was the time I could steal and it didn't bother me because the man deserved it. The man owed me. And go home and sleep like a baby. Hmm? That was the time. But when my back, when God brought me to the backside of the mountain, when God told me to stand still and he showed me myself, he showed me my sinful self. Yes, sir. When I began to cry out to the Lord, yeah. Lord, I need help here. Anybody been there? Yeah. See, now, let me tell you something. I, I, this is the preliminary to the Red Sea experience. You, if you've never been there, yes, if you can't tell me, Pastor, that was a time when them same sins I used to enjoy, they came down on me like a ton of rock, and I wanted to stop, and I couldn't stop, and... Yes, sir. Glory, God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Move on. Praise Jesus. Got to lead that guy alone. Got to lead that woman alone. Ah, but my favorite song is Love the New at Rome. Come on, y'all help me with this. Hell. It's something inside. I just. Y'all been there? Anybody been there? I mean, you, you, you boxed in. You boxed in. You want to do right. You want to do right, but, 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 but the thing is, it's haunting me. It's all over me. Oh, God, that's a good place, y'all. That's where God leads all of his children. Oh, it's decision time. You got to choose you this day whom you going to serve. Oh, boy. Hmm? Go to Romans 3 there. Yes, conviction time. God says, stand still. Stand still, stand still, stand still now. I want y'all to stand still. I want y'all to be quiet here. I want y'all to reflect on the bondage that you've been in. Huh? Because I'm fixing to show you something. I'm fixing to show you something that you never imagined in your heart. But Paul said you got to be convicted for it. You got to be hemmed in. God got to hem you in. God got to hem you in. Romans 3, Romans 3, 16. Romans 3, 16. God got to hem you in. So did I say this examination time? Yes, sir. We're celebrating, but we're examining ourselves. Is that right? Huh? Are you, should you be up here at this table today? Should you take communion today? It's for those that have been set free. And you know you've been set free. Huh? I, I, I'm not saying the devil don't whisper in your ear no more. But you know how to tell him where to get off at. Huh? 
when he used to talk to us from Herbert, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I used to cry and say, devil, leave me alone. Right, right, right. I don't tell you no more. Right. I say, get behind me. Yes, sir. Uh, get behind me, Satan. I don't roll like that no more. I don't do it like that no more. Y'all help me with this here. Huh? What I say, Romans 3, 16? Destruction and misery are in their way. Oh, you got to come to that point. Huh? Where peace they have not known. You got to come to that place. That's, that's, that, that's at the foot of that Red Sea there. Huh? There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that what things soever the law said, they said to them that are under the law, that every mouth may be stopped. You got to shut your mouth. Amen. Quit blaming other folks. Amen. If it hadn't been, if I had, a, if they hadn't, a, if this, if that, if, uh-uh, no, shut up. Prepare for deliverance. Quit, quit blaming. Shut up. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Hmm? The way he said, every mouth may be stopped and all the world must become guilty. Have you ever been there? You been there? Anybody know about guilt? When the guilt come down on you, do you know about the guilt? Huh? I'm talking about you could hardly sleep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lundsay, Lundsay Bletcher said uh, when he had them shingles, he said hurt him so bad he could have killed himself. Mm. He felt like just shooting himself. Shoot. He had him in his head and his back two or three times. Mm. Huh? Have guilt ever come down on you so hard yes. that you just want to die? Matter of fact, you did die. Oh, y'all gonna help me with this here. Oh, the Red Sea experience about dying out. Oh, come on now. Somebody, somebody, somebody in here with me. Ain't that right? Before deliverance comes, you got to be troubled though. Deep down in your soul. Troubled about the way you've been living. All the people you done duped. Conned. Stole from. Or when that come down. Somebody say hallelujah. Come on now. When all of that comes down in your heart and your mind, praise God, you, 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 you won't deliver. You need help. You're looking for the Lord and he died. He read it. He the one put you in that predicament. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. <sighs> Have you been there? Hmm? Yes, sir. Who put you there? God put you there. That's what you got to remember now. Huh? God brought you to that place where you, the, the Bible call it brokenness, yes. emptiness. You got to be emptied. Yes. All your ideals of how you can get out of that predicament got to go away. Your back is against the wall. I can't see no light nowhere. I can't see no help. I used to imagine things. Now my imagination is gone. I'm broke. I'm broke. Y'all have me. Somebody. Go, come on, go to Romans. Go to Romans 3, y'all. I'm broke. See, God was teaching his people to stand still. Am I right about that? He put them between a rock and a hard place for a reason, for a, for a purpose. Is that right? Praise God to let us know that you cannot save yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Jesus. You cannot. Where you gonna go? Where you gonna go? Look around you, bro. Check it out. Right. Where, where you gonna go? Man. Here I am. Here I am. You got to make a decision. Yeah. Do you want to live for God? Yeah. Or are you gonna live for the world? See, you can't do both of them now. How many people in the church trying to do both of them? Yeah. Our churches are full of them. Huh? And they won't hear this kind of message. They'll never hear nothing like this here. Huh? Because it'll hurt. The, it, it, it'll cause them to think about. Yes, Lord. Hmm? Am I right about that? It, it brings conviction yes, upon their heart. What I said, Romans three, mm-hmm. praise God. But God wants us hopeless, helpless, yeah. so that we have to look to the hills from which coming our help. Yes, Am I right about? Have you been there, Miss Ann? Yes. Huh? Well, you, you 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 couldn't see no light. Huh? He might not never change. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go. Huh? But you stay with it, didn't you, baby? Yeah. Good Lord Almighty. Romans 3, 10. Now look at 3 and 10. It says, as it is written, there's none. What? Right. 
Righteous. 310. No, not what? There are none that understand it. There are none that seek it after God. Is that right? They're all going out of the way. They all together become unprofitable. There is none that do it good. No, not one. It God hymns us in so that we can know there's nothing in you. You can't, you have nothing to give God. You have nothing to bargain with him. Right. You at my mercy. Right. You at my mercy. Huh? See, every true believer, listen, listen to me now. You got to have a Red Sea experience. Right. If you haven't had a Red I hope yours is coming up. But I know one thing. If you're going to be saved, you got to have a Red Sea experience. Praise God. Oh, praise God. The enemy, the enemy pursued him. Is that right? Nowhere to go. Praise God. Uh, God wants us to be completely right. looking to him yes. for help. Amen. Stand still. Is that what God said? Yes. First, stand still, though. Stop trying to help yourself. Yeah. Amen. Stop trying to figure out how you're going to get to heaven by doing good works. How many know you can't work your way to heaven? Huh? You can't do nothing good enough to go to heaven. Right. Praise God. He wants you to st stand still. I mean, don't do nothing. Don't try to help yourself. Huh? God is there to fight for you. Is that what he told you? Uh, he's going to fight for you. Amen. But now he says here, that, and, 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 and uh, don't go to Romans 9, uh, 9, 16. I will have mercy on him. Is that right? Whom I will have mercy. It's not of him that will it. Is that right? But it's him that who have mercy. Is that what we need today? We need God. But you know, when you get in a predicament like that, think about it now. If I'm backed up, I'm going to fight, either fight, or I'm going to run. Right. Well, they ain't have nowhere to run. They ain't have nothing to fight with. Now that big look like God kind of mean, ain't it? Do you want you? Is that what he want, Herbert? He want us like that? Totally dependent upon him for everything in our lives. Oh, come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Pray. No weapon to fight with, nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. But you know what? That's the problem with man today. Sinful pride. They want to help God. That's the biggest obstacle. Huh? See, there ain't two religions in the world that's working grace. You either falling at the mercy of God, asking for God's grace upon you, or you still trying to help God. Amen. Amen. Your pride. Man's pride won't let him just accept the free gift. Amen. He wants to do something. But God made sure they couldn't do nothing. Am I right about that? Look at Exodus 13, uh, 14 and 13. Go, go, go to 13 there. Well, look at Hebrews first. I'm going to go to Hebrews first. Let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews 4. Hebrews 4 now. Hebrews 4. See, God put them in a, between a rock and a hard place to break their pride. Break their pride. I'm sure there's a lot of proud digni digni dignitaries that came out of there. But God going to break them all down. See, that's the first stage. God got to bring you down off your high horse. Because ain't none of us nothing. Amen. Huh? We got to come to the point where you know you're, you're not important. There's nothing about us. Oh, y'all quiet now, ain't you? I done stepped on your pride, ain't I? Stepped on your pride, didn't I? Huh? Praise God. What did I say? Uh, Hebrews 4? Praise God. God told the people to stand still, right, and see the salvation of the Lord. But now he says in 4 9, Hebrew 4 9, there remained therefore a rest yes. to the people of God. For he that entered into his rest, he has also ceased from what? Your own efforts, your own efforts, your own struggles, all that's over? Yes. Amen. <sighs> See from his own word, as God did from his. Is that right? See, when God brings us to this place and hymns us in, huh? he's getting ready now to show himself strong in our lives. Amen. How many of y'all believe that? Huh? He, uh, he didn't bring you this far. Oh, y'all going to help me with that? Hmm? The end of come. Sin shall no longer have dominion over you. He didn't say he's going to get rid of all. He didn't say he wasn't going to nibble on your heel. 
Huh? But the Lord hit him on the head, didn't he? Is that what Genesis 3.15 says? The Lord gave the devil a... When he, he hit Pharaoh on the head, broke his power, and therefore now sin has no dominion. Huh? Amen. Sin has no dominion over. Is that right? Amen. Praise God. What did I say there? Look at, look, at, look at Exodus 14 then. See, when God brings us into this place, sin's dominion is over. It's no more. He will insinuate. The devil will whisper sweet nothing in your ears. Amen. I'm not saying he won't whisper things in your ears. But now you can tell him. Glory. I'm a child of God. Hallelujah. I don't live like that no more. I don't club no more. Huh? I don't run out on my wife no more. I got one woman and that's enough. Huh? I don't, I don't hop knob with the buddies and my, my, my homies and my, my, my boys that I... I, 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 I. <laughs> oh, y'all don't want to hear me today. Exodus 14, 14 and 13. Look at that latter part of 13. I'm just going to get part of that. I'm going to jump down in the middle of that 13. Can I jump in the middle now? For the Egyptians... Are the, is that sin? Is that represent sin? Whom you have seen today. You shall see them again. No more. I say it's the Red Sea experience. Mm, and God broke that. Did he break that hold? Come on, somebody know what I'm talking about. I tried my best to stop smoking them no-name cigarettes. I did, Rosie. I tried on my own. I tried everything. Like I said, I, I hid my car. I took my shades down in my apartment so it didn't seem like I was down. I tried everything I could try. But they kept on coming. Huh? Until I had a Red Sea. And then I could open the door and look him in the face. And say, I don't do that no more. Huh? I thank you for your friendship, brother, these many years, but I don't roll like that no more. Oh, huh? praise God. I'm high, I'm higher than I ever been before. Praise God. I'm Holy Ghost high. I don't need no artificial high. I've got the Spirit of the Lord. Oh, God, y'all don't hear me today. I'm floating on cloud nine. Talk about cloud nine. I'm floating. Somebody say hallelujah. Praise God. But now, 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 we know the rest of this story, don't we? God told Moses to lift up that rod. You know what he told him? How many know that rod was a representative of Christ lifted up on the cross? Do you know that? Uh, Moses, God told him to lift that thing up. Stretch it out. Stretch it out across that troubled water there. Huh? That was a picture of Jesus Christ. Lift it up high. On the, our victory is in Jesus Christ. Our victory is through Jesus Christ. And the Bible says that they went crawl. God blew. God parted the waters. Blew his breath on the foot. The flow of that ocean and dried it up. And his people went cross. Am I right about that? They went crawling dry ground. But now, 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 the mixed multitude, though. Yes, sir. Did they all go through that? Yes, they did, didn't they? Huh? Believers? Yes, sir. Want to be believers? Thought they were believers? Hope they were believers? All of them went through. Am I right about that? Hmm? God delivered them. Hmm? Turn to Hebrews, last scripture for the day. Turn to Hebrews now. Well, go on, just turn to Hebrews. Turn to Hebrews here. <laughs> Praise God. They were drowned, the Bible said, in the Red Sea. My enemies, they gone. You your worst enemy now. You. Because you don't have the knowledge of the deliverance that God did. You don't know the power of God that he's invested in you. You and me, we are our worst enemies. Greater is he that is in us. Oh, y'all don't hear me today. Greater, greater is he that is in us than he that is what? In the, world. in the world. Amen. Look at what I say. Hebrews 6. Look at 6 there. Look at 6 now. And I want to, we want to examine ourselves. Examine ourselves today. Hebrews 6 and 4. 
For it is impossible for those who were once in life. Did they see the miracle? Yes, sir. Did they see the Holy Ghost dry up the floor? Did they see that? For it is impossible for those who were once in the light and tasted. You think they tasted it? The heavenly gift made partakers of the Holy Ghost. You think they saw grace, God's power? They were witnesses there. Have tasted the good word. The power of the world to come. If they shall fall away. All right. All right. Is that what it says there? Amen. To renew them again unto repentance. Seeing they crucify to themselves the Son of God afraid and have put him. Did God have to kill most of them after they got crossed out? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you can come into the church. All right. All right. You may be in here. All right. hmm? Is your heart in here? All right. You can be in here and not in here. All right. All right. Huh? All right. In here, not in here. Yes, sir. You say amen, but you still ain't here. Right. Huh? God looks at the heart. Oh, your mouth might say anything. You, can just, you yeah. might be the high, loudest, praise God, hallelujah. You might be the loudest one in here. But God knows your heart, though. Hmm? And they kept on murmuring, didn't they? A short trip to the promised land turned to what? All right. All right. Thank you, Lord. All those years they spent. Because they complain. Yes. One night. But you know, true, true church folk, true Christians don't do much complaining. Hallelujah. Am I right about that? But we're thankful to be. I saw the Red Sea. I saw the deliverance. God set me free. Yes, or oh, I shall not complain. I will not complain. But church folks. God killed most of them off after they tasted, after they saw God's great work. What are you saying, Pastor? Seeing ain't enough. You got to be born again. You got to be changed down in your heart. You got to have a, a change within you that will tell you, say, God said, Lord, I won't complain. It don't matter how, what I go through, Milton. Yes, it don't matter that the truck catch on fire. Huh? We won't complain. Am I right about that? Yes, sir. But church folks. Yes, sir. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. God killed all of them off, except a few, the young ones. Caleb and Joshua. And, and Joshua said, my family too, they, they, they're coming with me. Why? Because his family stood with him. Huh? Men, do your family stand with you? Huh? God, God allowed his family, the elder one, the old ones, and, 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 and Caleb, to, they allowed them to stand. Is that right? Because they led their people. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Huh? See what you got ought to rub off on your folks. If you got the real thing, Herbert, it ought to rub off on your folks. Am I right about that? Huh? Millions of them died, but they came through the Red Sea. Are you sincere today? Are you really? Are you just play? Are you just? And you, look here, look here. Amos, he's younger than me, but but still, he believed, and I think he, if not from what he's seen, because I'm a little older. That a change. You believe you changed the place in your cousin, your pastor? You believe it, don't you? Well, you saw the Red Sea, didn't you? <laughs> Am I right about that? You, you, if you know, you know this person, and you know what kind of person that person was. You seen him, you run, and you see the change in his life. You saw the Red Sea part. You saw the miracle right before your face. Yes, sir. And that ought to be enough. That ought to be enough. That ought to be enough. Am I right? Am I right about that? Yes, 
But they saw it. Yes, sir. So, Tony. A lot of them know Tony. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Really? <laughs> they know what kind of fella he was. And when they look at him now, they know yes, sir. a miracle. Something happened to Tony Green. Huh? Tony Green, he went to the Red Sea. And God parted the waters and God killed all of his sinful inclinations. Am I right about that? Yes, oh, God. I go. Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. I thank God that sin don't have dominion over us anymore. As far as the east, is that what the Bible says? As far as the east from the west, God has put all of our sins, all of our transgressions. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Hmm? I can live this life because God has delivered me. Can you say the same today? Can you say in your heart that I've had a Red Sea experience? A one that people around me, my dog even knows something happened to me. I had to retrain him for my general voice. I've been calling him everything. Thank come here, come here, no. Y'all help me with this here. Have you been changed today? Come on, do you know you've been changed today? Every head bowed in here. Every head bowed. Father, we bless you today, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the Red Sea. We thank you, Lord, for bringing us to that point in our lives where, Lord, we had to make a decision whom we were going to serve. And, Father, we thank you, Lord, that you give us the strength. You give us that miracle in our lives where we were changed from the wretch that we were, Lord, to be a saint of the Almighty God. Lord, we thank you for this experience right now. And Lord, I pray right now. I pray for every soul. Every soul under, under my voice right now. Lord, some hadn't had a Red Sea experience. Some you have on the docket. And that time just hadn't come yet. But Lord, I just pray that every soul in here might come to that place where you hem them in. You box them in where they can see the power in the sovereignty of our great God. And Lord God, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody says, Amen. Amen.